Salon guy, I have a bad haircut. I don't know what to do. Salon guy, what do I tell my barber? Salon guy, what do I do to get this haircut? Salon guy, how long should my hair be? Okay. <clears throat> I'm losing my hair over all these comments. This video is going to be a sit down with you and I to discuss a number of haircut related topics. So I'm assuming that a lot of you guys may be new to my channel and you have not yet seen the 1400 other videos that I have <laughs> about haircuts and hair tutorials and all sorts of stuff. So I want to make this video for people who are you know, new to my channel, who constantly send me you know, either DMs on Instagram or just comments here on the channel about like questions ranging from, I got a bad haircut, what do I do? My barber messed up my hair, what do I do? What do I ask my barber? What do I ask my stylist? How long should my hair be? And I've made videos like this before, but I feel like, hey, since you guys keep asking, I'll answer. And as you can see, I'm nice and comfortable sitting down and I'm ready to go. Now, the first thing is if you get a bad haircut from either a hairstylist or a barber, whether you're male or female, what you need to do is call the salon or the barbershop back or that person who did it, however you can communicate with them and complain. There's something that we love to do as human beings and that's complain. So call them back up and say, my hair is messed up. You literally screwed up my hair and you need to fix it. And if you can't fix it, somebody else in your barbershop or your salon needs to fix it because I cannot walk around looking like I have a horrible haircut on my head. That's one option. That's the very forward, like, you know, call the manager, I'm 100% right, you screwed up my haircut, I paid you, I'm gonna be that customer. <clears throat> you could be that way. You could be nice about it, but you can literally call them up and say, look, my hair is a disaster. Now there's a little bit of a risk to that because if that person screwed up your hair in the first place, chances are they're not gonna be able to really fix it. I'll be honest with you. So, you do need to make them aware though. And, and a lot of times the owners will say, oh, come in and you know, I'll have them redo it, which could make things worse. Or the barber will say, oh, come in and I'll fix it. You know, give them a chance. But that's where doing research on who you go to in the first place is very, very important. Look up on Instagram, you know, who's local in your area, <clears throat> do some searches of your towns, add the hashtag, you know, barber or style, hairstylist and see who comes up in that area. Look at the work they do. You know, if you're a, a guy and you find a stylist in the area and he or she does like no men, chances are you may want, not want to go to that person. If you find a barber in your area and you want like a longer flowing layered hairstyle, chances are the barber may not be doing a lot of that. So you need to find, you know, the expert in that kind of look that you want. And it's worth traveling. It's worth paying the extra money because I'm getting so many comments and DMs with photos of these monstrosities that these people are creating on, he on their heads. And I'm saying to myself, if this barber is that bad or this stylist is that bad, how the heck did you find him in the first place? Or why did you go to them? And I understand that it could be a budget thing. If you're paying like $8 for a haircut and that's all you can afford or that's the, well, I hate to say you get what you pay for to an extent, but you know, chances are you may not be able to find better in your area. I hate to say it. So, you know, next when it comes down to getting a bad haircut and you want to make sure you're getting the right haircut is you could show a photo. And I always say this when people ask, what do I tell my barber? What do I ask for this? What's the name of this haircut? Just show a photo of what you're looking for, of that celebrity or of that athlete or that singer or that actor, whatever it is, show them a photo on your phone saying, I like my hair to look like this. Now, one, it doesn't mean they're gonna be able to cut your hair like that. Two, doesn't mean they're gonna be able to cut your hair like I cut their, your hair. It may be better, it may be worse, but there's no guarantee that showing them my tutorial of, of that haircut will actually, you know, translate into that being the haircut you get because everyone's skill level is different. Three, you have to make sure that you have the right hair type. 
Four, you have to make sure you consult with them and that that stylist actually, or barber, knows what they're talking about. If you have short hair and you wanna grow your hair into a look and you show them that and they're just clueless and they start botching your hair and just hacking away at it, just be like, dude, stop. Just, you're screwing up my hair. You know, chances are it's too late. You'll have a half of a bad haircut, but you know, they may not be able to duplicate it. You know, they may not have the skill level. That's why you need to consult with them. Call up a place and say, do you offer a free consultation? If they sound like they know what they're talking about, if they can show you photos of their work, you feel that's the right person for you, then definitely, you know, book, it, book your appointment with them, okay? But if you're getting, you know, bad haircuts, I can't do anything about it. You know, you gotta complain, you gotta go back, you gotta look and see, you know, who else is in your area. Why did you go to that person in the first place? If you just randomly walked in, you're taking a risk. Right? And, I'm, and I know I'm sounding redundant for people who have been watching my videos for years and years, but I keep getting these comments and these, these messages. So I'm hoping that this will share some insight to you guys you know, that may help you when you know, looking to get the right haircut and preventing bad haircuts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this helped. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a Salon Guy.